everyone. Today we'll be talking about the Thompson score, which is also known as the HIE score. So this score is used to grade HIE, HIE which is hypoxic, ischemic encephalopathy. So the HIE score is a clinical tool that is comprising of a set of clinical signs associated with CNS dysfunction. It is used to assess the status of a neonate following birth asphyxia. So in this scoring system, a score of 0 is normal and the maximum score is 22, which signifies the worst possible status of hypoxic ischemic encephalopathy. So basically we use the Thompson score in predicting the early neonatal outcome in post-asphyxiated term neonates. So basically neonates that have undergone birth asphyxia, we do a Thompson score to predict the possible neonat neonatal outcome, okay? So when we talk about the Thompson score, there are a total of nine parameters, which include tone, consciousness, presence of fits, posture, moral, grasp, suck reflex, respiration, and fontanelle. So under the tone, if it's normal, that's, that gives us a score of 0. If it's hypertonic, that gives us a score of 1. If it's hypotonic, that gives us a score of 2. And if it's flaccid, that gives us a score of 3. Then consciousness, if it's normal, that's 0. If they're hyper alert or with a steer, that's 1. If they're lethargic, that's 2. And if they're comatose, that is 3. Then presence of fits, if there are no fits, that's normal, so that's 0. If they're infrequent, which is less than 3 fits a day, that is 1. If they're frequent, which is more than 2 fits a day, that is 2. Then posture, if it's the usual posture, that's normal, that's 0. If they're feasting or cycling, that is 1. If they have a posture that is showing strong distal flexion, that's 2. And if they're decerebrate, which is they're just in an extended posture, that's 3. Then the moral reflex, if it's normal, that's 0. If there is partial, that's 1, and if it's absent, that's 2. Then the grasp reflex, if it's normal, that's 0. If it's poor grasp, however, there's still some grasping, that's 1. And if there's no grasp reflex, that's 2. Then suck, if it's normal, that's 0. If there's a poor suck, that's 1. And if it's absent, plus or minus bites, that's 2. Then respiration, if they're within the normal range, that's 0. If they're hyperventilating, that is 1. If there's episodes of brief apnea, that's 2. And if there's apnea, that's 3. Then fontanelle, the fontanelle we're talking about is the anterior fontanelle. If it's level, that's 0. If it's full but not tense, that's 1. If it's tense, that's 2, okay? So this course, they can add up to a maximum of 22. So infants that score 1 to 10, they are considered to have mild HIE. Then the one that's got 11 to 14, they have got moderate HIA, and 15 to 22 are considered to have severe HIA. Then in nomothermic infants, a maximum score of above 10 during the first 7 days of life predicts an abnormal outcome with 100% sensitivity. So that's all about the HIA score. If you like the video, please like, subscribe, and comment. Thank you.